graduating class. And so uh, I couldn't go to any of those universities. And looking around, uh, there were a number of places, but New York University had, at that time, um, a uh, TMR department, television motion pictures of those the gritty films they made in the 30s. Yeah. You can put it on an LMX spider, you can move it, you can have 42 different uh, compositions in, in an eight minute shot, you know, if you, if you moved it correctly if, or as, as, as you like. And so um, what happened was that we, we got, in the first couple of months of shooting that particular film, we used um, uh, the wrong equipment. It was a Mitchell BNC. Oh my God. Yeah, and I, br I brought it down to the booth. Yeah, literally, literally, it's bigger than this platform. Yeah. And I brought it down to the old neighborhood. And I, I had this little <laughs> storefront that was supposed to be an after hours place, and the camera was bigger than, than the place inside. I could, and it was just, it was killing the actors, it was killing the whole feeling of the picture. And ultimately, we just, uh, uh, I edited together what I had at the end of the year, it was 1965, and it was shown at the NYU end of the year screening. It was a disaster. And it sort of lay dormant for about a year or two until Hayden Nugent came up and said, uh, listen, why don't we shoot the scenes that, that you one that you should have done certain scenes between uh the turn of the scene of and, and harvey Keitel, explaining some of it intercutting it with the 35 and ultimate pornographer he's trying to win a living yeah he really got mad after a while he, uh, one of my agents said william morris at the time took me over to see roger corman he said would you be interested in doing a sort of a sequel to bloody mama and i said yeah costumes and yeah the 1930s i would be yeah. it was called boxcar bertha and we had barbara hershey david carradine and barry primus uh, those are the What was its evolution? Well, I think what was happening was in the four years that I was pulling together, who's that knocking? Don't forget, uh, there's part of you too that one has to balance out wanting to express yourself with cinema and, and be alive in telling stories with camera and actors, uh, but also balance it with um, the need to, uh, uh, to be famous. There was, there was that, uh, when I saw Bertolucci at that time, uh, I wanted that, but I had to. I had to go my own way, and the work has to be more.